Good morning, long time no see. I just felt like picking up the camera. So um, I'm gonna vlog this morning and I'm excited. There's a lot to talk about, a lot of updating to do. I just woke up, my hair is a grease ball because I just put some serums and oils in it last night. <sighs> I need to make the bed and I need to eat breakfast. Then I need to do my makeup. Then I need to go to the gym. I have to do all that within a span of a couple hours. Let's get started, shall we? I do have my camera. I am filming on my iPhone right now. I do have my camera, but all the batteries are dead. So I'm waiting for those to charge. Then you'll see the nice crispy version of me. A little update on this bed here. For Christmas, I asked for a new bed, a king bed, and it has changed my life. You don't even understand. So me and my husband, we used to sleep on a queen mattress. And while it was great for a few years, I started to feel very claustrophobic. It just felt kind of crammed and I was over it. And also it was pretty firm. I'm not sure why we decided on a firm mattress when for me, I feel like Phoenix, my husband likes a firm mattress. For me though, I need something a little more soft. I need something a little more, something my hips can sink into. We got a new mattress. And it's a, it's a nectar mattress and it's amazing and I love it. And it literally feels like there's an entire continent between me and my husband when we go to sleep now. I have a mic on now. I don't know. I haven't I haven't used it in a while, so I thought I'd put it to use. We are going to do our skincare a little bit. That way, when I go eat breakfast and then I do my makeup, my skincare will have sat and have settled on my face for a bit, and we can just get right into the makeup. I've been very into skincare. Obviously, having good skincare is like the base of having good makeup. Been very into that. I'm into toners now. Toners didn't exist for me back then, but now. Now they do. I'm pulling out all my essentials right now. Oh, and there's so much and I just love it. I love what I have become. First I start out with the facial radiance pads. I'm just gonna rub that all over my face. This just kind of gets rid of any extra excess. I don't know, anything that's on my face and gives me like a nice, I don't know, I just feel like it cleans my skin and preps it really good for the days that I'm wearing makeup. Why am I saying like I wear makeup on selective days? I wear makeup every day now. Makeup has been like a very staple part of my morning routine. See, and look how kind of nasty that is. I don't know if you can tell. Now we go in with our toners. I'm gonna start with like the most wateriest one. This is Anua Heartleaf 77% Soothing Toner. I don't know what any of these do. I just see them on TikTok and I see people's skin. They seem to love it, so then I get it for myself and see how it is. And I also end up loving it. Toner number one, Zun. Then Ms. Rice Toner. Again, not really sure what this does, but I've heard lots of great things about it. If you have a dog that sheds everywhere and then you're doing your makeup or skincare, it gets everywhere and it's kind of annoying. Bring it down the neck as well because we are, because the first sign that we age is like the neck and hands, you know? Then we're gonna go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow, PHA, BHA, Pore Tightening Toner. I just got this yesterday for Christmas. I am obsessed with any road product. I don't care. I think I've said this in another video before. There's so much drama. Stop hating on people just cause. Oh my goodness. TikTok is a toxic place. It's just awful and I feel bad for Miss Haley, but she's thriving now, so. I love that. I love that. I love that. This is the Glazing Milk by Rode, okay? Then we are going in. <laughs> with snail mucin. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about snail mucin. It gives me a glow that I enjoy, so I'm gonna keep using it. Now, this is the first time I'm using the road stuff on my skin, be like underneath makeup. We'll see how she performs today. Do you guys remember me being so thorough with my skincare, like before makeup? Because I don't. All right, lastly, the road barrier restore cream. This is the second to last step. The last step is and always should be sunscreen. Always rub the excess of your skincare onto the back of your hands. Skin is looking like a glazed donut, as one would say. Okay, last step, 
sunscreen. And this is, you know what, I don't even know. This is all in Korean, but I'm sure, like if you keep up with skincare and stuff, I'm sure you've seen this all over TikTok. SPF 50, we love. I love this sunscreen because it doesn't leave a white cast and it honestly just feels like a moisturizer. If you should be putting sunscreen anywhere, it's your face and hands. Those are the two places that are missed when people are putting on sunscreen. Okay, that is all of my skin prep before I put on makeup. And I'm so excited to see how this road does under my skin. So Ms. Hailey Bieber, I, I'm obsessed with her right now, okay? She basically only uses her products, duh. She goes in with the glazing milk, then the peptide serum, and then the barrier restore cream and like that's it. So I'm kind of trying to get to that point where I'm only using a few products from one brand. But for now, I'm enjoying kind of hopping all over the place as far as my skincare goes. Rob, we're gonna let that sit all the way up until we do our makeup. Let's look back this hair so I look a little bit more presentable in the rest of this video. <gasps> I think I'm just gonna do a cute little middle part and just like a low pony or a medium pony or something. I'm going to take this day cactus fruit styling cream and just layer it on lather her on this stuff smells so good you know who i'm also obsessed with ms whitney simmons if i'm influenced by anybody it's her all the makeup products that i've got recently is probably because of her all right so that's the that's the look right now you know what actually we're gonna change into a workout outfit we're gonna cook some breakfast now. Lately, have just been eating two eggs and a giant piece of toast with butter and jam. Not the most protein heavy breakfast that I have done in the past, but it's what like satisfies my cravings in the mornings. I don't know. And then I'm gonna make some coffee. It's gonna look like I'm not wearing pants, but I am. So. I just got these cups from Target and they're amazing. They're the threshold ones. They're plastic, but they're so cute. They look like glass, but they're not. Ooh, there's barely any milk left. As I say that, pours an entire glass of milk. Creamer. That. I lost my little middle part to be able to like smack the puck out of this thing. So I've been using this. It works just as good. Kim, okay, I'm, I'm super over filming on my phone. I really do miss my camera. She's still charging. Only because I can see the viewfinder and I can see whether I'm like actually in frame or not. Taste test my coffee. Just what I needed. Pan is warming up. My toast is done. Okay, that's what I should do. I should butter and jam up my toast. So I use this Trader Joe's jam. It's the raspberry preserves made with fresh raspberries. It's good, Kate. It's just sugar and fruit, so. We're back on the camera. Does anyone else's dog just like lay in the most inconvenient places? He just wants to be as close to me as he possibly can, I know. I know that's the reason. What should we talk about? Um, um I'm probably going to re-enlist so that I can go for the nurse enlisted commissioning program. So I'm doing that, or trying to at least. I'm in the middle of doing my prereqs so that I can apply for that. I'm still in Northern California. And I'm hoping to possibly get, you know, BOP so that I can go somewhere else. That's just like the biggest change that will be happening to me career-wise is me trying to progress into becoming a nurse in the Air Force. If you have any questions on it, same. So don't ask me. <laughs> I'm very much still trying to figure out this whole process. There's honestly not a lot of information on it out there. If, if you're watching and, and you've been through the program, please let me know so that we can talk because I, 
I'm just curious. There's so many questions I have. I got a new car. Bye bye to the Mini Cooper for $1,500 too. That's how much she was worth. Honestly, just wanted it off my hands at that point. Yes, it was very sad for her to leave. She's been in my life for, I don't know, eight years. And it was a stick shift and she was like a lot of fun to drive. So I do miss her a lot. I will, I will be honest. But I love my new car. Her name's Ellie. She is a Subaru Crosstrek. Yeah, we're gonna be together for a long, a long time, I can tell. Why I chose a Subaru, I've been doing research on a whole bunch of cars within my price range for probably like, I don't know, it was it was a minute. I was looking at Hondas, Toyotas, Kias, and Mazda. Mazda was my number one. The Mazda CX-30 or 50, I can't remember. One day we went and test drove all the cars that I wanted to test drive, so the first car that I test drove was the Mazda. It's a very luxurious looking car without it being too expensive. That was why I liked that one the most. Like aesthetically, maintenance wise, they seem to be pretty good. And then I went and test drove the Subaru. It just drove so much smoother than the Mazda. And I felt it immediately when I started driving. Immediately I was like, ooh, a Subaru Crosstrek might be might be the one. She was a little bit more expensive, but kind of worth it. What else is new? What is new with you guys? I know some of you left a comment that, you know, you were starting tech school or just finishing tech school. So if you are one of those people, how how is your first place? How was tech school? If you're just starting tech school, let me know. I'm gonna do my makeup now. <laughs> my favorite part. I've been looking for like a makeup organizer because I've accumulated a lot more stuff now and I want to keep it organized and clean. I've just been keeping most of my stuff like in here. I just want something else because I have to like dig through all of this. Or what I usually do is I take everything out. I just pick from, you know, what I've taken out. A hundred motherfuckers can't tell me nothing. I bees in the trap, bees in the trap. Okay, so first I like to start out with this Say Glow Super Gel in Star Glow. I'm into the very much dewy makeup look rather than the matte because my eyes have been itching so much lately i'm mean, just like i want to scoop my eyeballs out elf power grip primer and then we're gonna pat her everywhere i am in school right now i am taking anatomy and physiology one that is one of the prereqs for this nursing program i'm trying to go for i think what i have left so far is AMP1, which I'm doing right now, AMP2, Chem2, and then Microbiology. And I think that's it. I'm gonna start with contour. Because it is the winter time and I don't have too much sun, I find that the bronzers that I have are a little too orange for me, for my paleness right now. So I've only been doing contour recently. I need to store my brushes somewhere where they will not get like dog hairs on it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't really like going like straight onto my face with this. I kind of put it onto the brush first. I'm going under my cheek because this is a contour and we're trying to we're trying to fake these shadows going on. I'm sure you can't really tell anything because it's so blown out right here, but is that better? I don't know. We're gonna take the same shade, go into the eyebrows. Yeah, I've very much just been way more of a make makeup girl lately. I'm just, I'm having a really fun time with it. I am a Sephora girl through and through. Every time I go, I pick up something that I don't necessarily need, but I want to try because I want to try everything. And makeup is so much fun. I have never had this much fun with makeup before. I don't know. I feel like now that I have money that I can spend on whatever I want, I spend it on makeup and it's so much fun. Hailey Bieber has been like an inspiration looks wise. Just that glowy, natural, dewy, blushy look. I like her aesthetic, I like her vibe. So that's kind of who I've been inspired by. Not only do I have her skincare line, I do have all of her lip products. I think we're gonna do eyebrows next. Glossier Brow Flick. See, I don't really do too much. I just kind of make it a little bit more pigmented. Fill in the front, cause it's a little sparse in the front and then if I am missing a tail, like on this one, I'll try and create a tail. I think the eyebrows are done. What else was new in my life? My brother's married now. Yeah, we just went to their wedding in November in Washington and it was beautiful and I enjoyed spending time a little bit with my family. My sister just turned 20, so weird. She's not, you know, a teen anymore because she was, you know, 19, now she's 20. 
everyone's getting older and I find myself like reminiscing a lot more on life and how fast just life goes by. I think we're gonna do blush next. I just got this palette. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Essentials palette. There's so many blush colors. I always have a hard time picking. I haven't used this corally pink, so I think I'm gonna go with that. Oh my God. That's beautiful. Let's change the lighting real quick just to make sure that I'm not going overboard. Cause when I'm in the, like the yellow lighting, I tend to go overboard. We're gonna go in with this Tower 28 concealer. This is in the shade DTLA on our inner corner of K-Town on the outside of that. And we blend. It's very hydrating for my dry skin. I have combination skin. Around my T-zone is really oily and then around my mouth and my cheeks are super dry. On top of those blushes, Miss House Lab in Rose Quartz. This is the most beautiful blush topper I've ever had in my life. It's honestly like not pigmented whatsoever, but it gives this sheen, this glow that I just can't live without. I don't know if you can see this. House Labs, once again, this is in the shade light level four. Makeup by Mario. This is the soft glow highlighter in the shade opal. This is so gorgeous. I'll take my sponge, I'll kind of just tap her, pick up some product, and we're gonna put her on the high points of my cheek so that I'll look like I'm sweating from far away. And then I'll just have this beautiful ethereal glow to me. Okay, that's the last thing I'm doing to my cheeks. It is, I promise. Now we'll move on to the eyes. NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner Stick. Little, do a little flick of eyeliner. I also like to line my waterline on the top, just on the outside corner. I don't know, I feel like it gives my eye a little bit more dimension. Now, Makeup by Mario. This is the Ethereal Eyes Palette. Look how beautiful that is. Okay light shade here and just kind of dust it all over the eyelids light shade there and all over the eyelid again okay and that's all i'm doing for my eyes let me set this and then we're gonna put mascara on rare beauty mascara in black not my favorite but that's all i have right now so and last but not least, the lips. I used to never ever do anything with my lips, and now, now I feel like I don't go anywhere without doing my lips. Last step, my road peptide lip. This, oh, this lip tint is called Ribbon. I never knew that, it's so cute. And that is the finished makeup look. This is usually my everyday. Actually, my very last step is wiping the makeup off of my mole. Cause sometimes if I leave makeup on there, I feel like I look, like in pictures I look 2D, you know? I don't know, there's just something like dull about my face. But then as soon as I wipe the excess makeup off, this, then I feel like I look alive again, so. I feel I look very cute. It's like 10.14 now, I'm gonna leave at 10.20. One of my favorite perfumes that I am just about out on is this Ariana Grande one. I don't like any other one that she's put out, but this one, this one, this one's good. I'm down to my last little drops. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's spicy, it's, it's, I don't know. I really don't know, because like all of her other scents are very florally and girly and I didn't like them. But this one, this one's like a little bit more masculine. It's a little more, all I can describe it as spicy, but in a good way, I don't know. Actually, my go-to one that I probably wear all the time is the Zara perfume in Orchid. That one's good. Off to the gym we go. Off to the gym we go. How do you like my car? I'll give you a little tour. This is the passenger seat. This is the driver's seat. There's dog hair everywhere already. And this is the giant screen that not a lot of people are a fan of, but personally I am. We have a backseat, we have, we have doors on the back. That's new for me. I love this car so much. Anyways, let's head to the gym. We're already a little bit late. Did I bring my phone? Yes, I did. I 
love. I love this car. I'm at the gym right now and I'm the only one here. I'll read you off what I'm doing today. So I'm following the Invictus programming. Um, we're gonna start off with some clean and jerks, build to heavy-ish, but keeping like good form. Close grip bench presses, and then we move on to our Metcon, or the conditioning of the day, which is four times. Start off with 15 bar muscle ups, and then move immediately into 16 calorie row, then 40 alternating single arm dumbbell hang clean and jerks, then 16 cal row, then 30 dumbbell hang clean and jerks, 16 cal row, 20 dumbbell hang clean and jerks, and then immediately followed by another 15 bar muscle ups. 15 minute time cap, so we'll see if I can finish it, but yeah, this is a, this is a fun workout today, so let's get started. back from the gym i filmed a little bit of it there started to like be a lot more people in there and i didn't want to i don't know i just don't want to set up my camera like that you know so anyways i feel good i'm gonna go to sephora <laughs> i'm gonna go to sephora me and my husband we allot ourselves like a hundred dollars a month whatever we want to spend our money on it's not the end of the month yet but close enough i'm gonna go do that i just got back from sephora of course i bought more than i initially went there to get so here's a little sephora haul glossier mascara but i've heard great things about this i heard that their mascara is like very fluffy separating lengthening so instead of the charlotte tilbury setting powder pressed powder i ended up getting the kosas one also have heard great things about this it's more so Charlotte Tilbury was so much more expensive with half the uh, or a little less than one ounces of like more product or something so we're gonna try that face wash because I've been breaking out like a lot around my chin and like just just all really around my mouth I read some things on it it could be just because I'm getting into that adult acne went ahead and got an oil makeup removing cleanser I'm not even gonna try and say that, but it's a Korean brand. It looked like this was friggin' expensive. This was forty dollars, so it better be good. There's a lot of it too. And it had like a very citrusy smell to it, which I loved. But it's it's a lot of product. I spent exactly a hundred dollars. Well, I spent one hundred and two dollars. So that is my spending for January. My January budget gone, and it's not even January yet. So. Great, awesome. I'm really gonna have to stay off of TikTok for the month of January because that, that's where I, I like want everything. I am so easily influenced, it's not even funny. Keep me accountable, please. I need to get into reading again because that's the only thing that really like keeps me off my phone is reading. So we have to do that. We have to start reading some books. If there's another video of me buying things because I was influenced by TikTok and Instagram, call me out. That should be the last of it until February. Anyways, I'm gonna go home now, shower, eat, and then get ready for work tomorrow because I already go back to work here. <laughs> 